lot of thing to learn from him so what i would just suggest you come up with a pen and pen grab him whatever uh, you know opportunity for us. for even for me also i would really like to see i have found some of his works are extensively you know communicated uh, he would probably talk either of them today it welcome hope there is a network issue due to the yeah. cyclone <laughs> due to the cyclone <laughs> <laughs> so anyways uh, let us uh, keep the data down so i give you a very warm welcome to you sir uh, thank you so much for on the behalf of jain university and our students Uh, thank you uh we are really looking forward to a great session thank you very much sir thank you onkan thank you for your kind words and hello student hi it's uh, really nice to meet you all uh, i know you are a very creative um, like upcoming artist and uh, like uh, good to see you all so here i would like to uh, give my quick intro my backgrounds and all that like uh, i have started my journey uh, from green gold okay working with uh, projects like uh, chota beam uh, little krishna chor police uh, and many more okay and uh, including uh, two theatrical movies also so my journey has started like uh, i was uh, uh, a junior 2d animator at that time so i moved gradually to uh, achieve my goal so then i become senior animator then senior key animator then uh, like from my childhood uh, i would like to become a film director okay because i love cartoon very much so so to achieve that goal i need to know the every departments not only the animation like animation layout storyboard uh, bg so uh, along with the production pipeline so i first i need to understand the business okay so that's why uh, i jumped to another department like character designer character design for four months okay then uh, gradually uh, i have moved to uh, storyboard department so to learn uh, how storyboard works for animation and uh, learning animatic also okay so uh then got an opportunity from maya uh from mumbai so uh they are asking me like okay uh, here is a need for tl so if you would like to join as a tl over here so i moved to uh mumbai and joined there as a uh, super uh, as a tl storyboard tl then uh, right now uh, like not right now like because i left maya uh, two months ago so uh, i i have become supervisor over there and right now i am working in uh, in a studio here in west bengal uh, crazy animation as a creative lead so that was my short of journey to achieve my goal and uh, so i would like to uh, share some of my work sample with you okay so here we go just uh, share my screen with you it's take some time to connect okay i think we are connected so hope everybody can see my desktop uh yes sir okay thank you so here some of my illustrations okay um so my goal is always like even though it's it's illustration or i'm i'm making an animation or storyboard whatever it is storytelling part should be there okay people should uh, get that entertainment value from my work like this work okay uh, a kid is playing with his dad 
okay and uh, the uh, he man posters or the batman posters behind them so it's you know it creates the feel it creates the story like that kid is really into the comics the superhero thing and all that and uh, he is enjoying you know uh, to play with his father and his father is also dressed up like a skeleton like the villain from um, you know uh, he man and the lighting okay everything should connect to the story to get the proper feeling okay so people should know about your story your work like okay this is happening inside this frame okay even though it's a uh, one frame or just a still but still they should get that feel okay so this is this is a very important part of uh, storytelling like whatever it is you should you know uh, connect to your audio through your true feelings okay whatever you feel they should feel in the same way so this is the another one okay three robots are trying to figure it out with some gadget and all that like how uh, it works or <coughs> sorry what is it like that so the environment the lighting even the composition you know uh, should support your story or should support your feel okay this is famous character logan <coughs> and this one is like i'm trying to create an environment where you know superheroes become uh, kids and they are enjoying their time with their own superpowers or gadgets okay so still uh, the storytelling part is very important okay as you can see everyone is busy with their own stuff but at the same time they are also telling the story you know uh, like um, like what is it all about okay what's their superpower or uh, the props they are using okay it's also connected uh, to uh, to their superpower or their thoughts like that so this one is also like they are engaging with each other they are seeing something okay the lighting the bg style it's also supporting the uh, character style or the design so it's very important over here to uh, meet your requirement first plan your you know design first like it should work together okay so see the style of the bench okay see the style of the window or the architecture everything is working together with the characters okay so this is the very important tip for uh, designing the character or designing a set okay your character and your design should work with together okay the style should match the color palette should match the feel should match with the environment so this is the next one the same thing it's a try uh, like uh, you know uh, i have tried to made some in different with different approach with different style with different lighting even the col color palette also if you see the color of the trees okay it's uh, uh, it's different okay but it's also support uh, the other color okay so this is also very important in illustrations whatever you make you should uh know your design you should uh look like yes everything is working together okay every part even though it's a, a bg or it's a uh, it can be a prop or it can be a human being over here okay they are standing uh behind that coffee shop and all that but the style should match the lighting should match okay this is a kind of beat board as you know about beat board like before we start uh, with the script we need to uh, create some uh, concept art which supports the story which uh, you know help us to um, understand the story and its feel here you can see a thief okay he is a thief and he is trying to you know um, steal this uh, diamond uh, so so he need to fight with with the guards okay he need to create some chaos okay after that uh, he should reach uh, his goal which is that diamond okay so this is the look and feel uh, of the entire story so your director can understand like okay uh, like uh, like how the story will move or what is your thinking okay what's going on in your mind okay 
and uh, the concept artist the character designer they are also get helps from your ideas okay because you are a storyboard artist so you need to think about every department like layout character animation and everything okay so you need to provide them uh, the information as much as you can okay so this is the idea behind the big board okay this is a uh, much detailed okay the color and all that but uh, as a beginner you don't need to you know put uh, such detail like color and all those things and all that uh, even in thumbnail view you also can plan your bead board or your thumbnails before you start with your script so uh, this is the uh, this is my illustration part now uh, i would like to show you some of my animation work so through youtube okay so this one this one is my favorite okay and uh, another one like um okay uh, so this is a different approach uh, in flipbook okay uh, actually i re so actually i really like to you know uh, approach different different style okay uh, so i can uh, connect with the audience in a different way and they should uh, you know remember my work because of the medium or because of the storytelling okay so uh, now i'm going to uh, show you one of my animatic okay without sound because that time uh, <laughs> i was not that much sure so to get uh, get some idea like how animatic works okay uh, with the proper timing and uh, 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 with proper staging and all that so let's uh, see this so this is it uh, so here uh, i would like to tell you like uh, what is the importance of animation in storyboard okay so uh, it's a myth okay like uh, if i want to become uh, a storyboard artist i don't need like uh, the uh, i don't need to learn the animation principle or the animation basics and all that but the thing is uh, it's really required okay because as per industry uh, need you need to uh, make the animatic so the storyboard it's bit backward now okay it's a old school right now nobody is interesting to show your panels frame by frame and all that even though some uh, studio is still doing that but the right now the standard is animatic so here as you as you see like uh, like the movements over here okay uh, the timing or the flow of the story it's more uh, you know uh, it will uh, connect more to your audience because they see things are moving okay and your animators they also get some idea like how i need to do the timing okay or uh, what should be the key poses okay how the action will move one frame to another frame so 
like uh, my advice is learn learn the animation basic first even not you are you know uh, very good in animation or not, like, you, know, you need to learn the entire thing and all that like uh, forms of animation like snappy animation frame by frame animation like geek uh, like uh, uh, hand drawn animation whatever okay it's not uh, uh, it's not the thing the thing is know the basic principles of the animation so you can uh, plan your scene properly you can give more information to the next department which is layout or which is uh, animation okay they should know like uh, what is the uh, how the story flow is going okay or your animator should know okay this is the this is this is how we need to plan a strong pose okay or this is really required um, uh, this pose is really required to uh, you know uh, maintain the flow of the story okay so learn the basic first okay then you should implement it into your animatic because as you see okay it's it's really treat to watch like things are moving okay uh, and uh, uh, before before uh, your final product you are able to see uh, your uh, feel of the final product in black and white version okay so the direct it's it's easier uh, for your director also to understand your thoughts understand your workflow even how you plan your story and what is your creativity okay so these points uh, you know uh, you should meet in your animatic okay so learn the basics uh, i suggest then you should enhance it in your uh, like uh, animatic so get okay jungle is created by you so nice one thank you thank you very much uh, so now uh, i would like to uh, tell you about the current scenario uh, of storyboard in our industry okay so you are learning a certain thing you are learning a certain art so you also need to know like okay how uh, i should you know uh, go with the market or is there any uh, chances for me to grow in this market or how the mar uh, how the market works okay and uh, whatever i i have learned from my uh, like uh, institute so how i will gonna use it in studio environment so first of all i would like to tell you good news is like there's a like vast requirement of storyboard artist even the um, uh, animators also okay uh, in 2d 3d uh, in every part okay because right now the thing is uh, aside from the channel there's a ott platform over the top platform like uh, disney like amazon okay and they they are come up with some new ideas okay and they are looking for studios or the artist who can produce uh, that ip or that idea uh, into production okay so that's why uh, the market needs it okay so once you are applying here and there you you will recognize like people are really looking for you they are poking you in your uh, linkedin account or insta like hey i have seen your work so can you join my company and all that because the requirement is really here and this is the high time okay uh, even uh, for the indian in industry also uh, the market is very good because as you can see in the different channels like nick or cartoon network and pogo like in my time like uh, all the shows are running at that time they are from us like johnny bravo pop of girls batman many more but right now it's uh, you know uh, it's full of indian show like t2 chota bhim uh, little singam shows like that and many more to come okay so it's very uh, uh, so the market is very good for the artist and requirement is high okay so if you really learn the techniques uh, of the storyboard animatic and everything so i think uh, like you don't need to worry about like okay uh, am i getting the job or what about my job and all that people will run behind you okay so right so right now the scenario is studios are really looking for artists trained artists like you guys and 
of course you are talented you have your own creativity so once you are join this uh, industry you will learn more okay because people are there seniors are there they will guide you in a certain way so you will learn more and more which you know uh, helps you to become a uh, good artist and after that you should start your uh, working uh, you should start working your own ideas because as i say ott is are looking for fresh ideas so don't think like okay i'm fresh uh, so uh, nobody cares about my idea and all that no scenario has changed okay because of the social media and all that if you have any idea put it into paper approach to your studio if they likes your uh, idea they will produce you uh, they will produce your idea sorry and if uh, you are a bunch of people try to you know work with uh, those ideas make some uh, samples or bible whatever you want and you easily can approach to ott or uh, producer like okay sir this is my idea so is there any chance if they like your idea they obviously supports you or sponsor you so the scenario is like i really like like this generation studio because opportunities are everywhere okay the thing is you need to go for that in my time uh it was market was not like that okay we need to go behind the jobs okay because the social media or the otts are not there at that time but right now the market is high demand is re really on uh, uh, uh like uh, it's it's more actually uh, uh, compared to uh, my my time and the thing is people people doesn't care if you are a fresher or a one year experience guy people only cares about your ideas if your ideas works they will uh, support you or sponsor you so go ahead don't worry about like uh, about your job and all that just try to learn as much as you uh, as much as possible okay and uh, try to take the help of social media youtube and all that okay uh, polish your skills uh, studios are there for you okay so uh, the next point is production okay so here i would like to give you some ideas like how uh, storyboard department works in a studio with other departments okay why your why storyboard department is so important to other department okay what are the departments that's really you know depends on storyboard okay so i just quickly share my screen <clears throat> so as you can see <coughs> this is the chart to understand the uh, flow workflow so starting for here uh, it's all starts with with the idea with an idea okay storyline and idea once the idea gets locked and channel approves your idea okay i'm talking about the studio environment okay so whatever is going on over here it's actually inside your studio okay how departments works actually so <clears throat> once your story idea get locked from channel then you should uh, that idea will move to an uh, next department which is script department so the script writer they should enhance your ideas with dialogues or with uh, you know uh, storytelling and all that they will write the script basis on your idea okay so once your script been locked okay then you should go for the voice over okay so vo this means voice over so whatever the dialogue written in your script somebody should uh, you know uh, record this dialogue and provide to the storyboard artist okay so the next department is storyboard so in this department the storyboard artist they should work with script and voice over script to know their story voice over to know their characters okay of course uh, like every character has a different voices or different personality okay so once you are uh, listening their voice over you get an idea like okay this character is rude okay and uh, Uh, like uh, his voice is very husky and all that so i need to uh, you know uh, portray him on my storyboard with such kind of gestures and all that okay that really helps okay not every studio provide voice over and script at a time okay uh, but you should ask uh, 
to your production manager or your coordinator like uh, can i get the voice okay uh, because it really helps uh, to generate the idea inside your mind okay so along with that these departments works parallelly with script and storyboard okay so as you can see the red line so script department is related to these department okay so characters of course the character designer they should know the script first they should know the character definition first they should know uh, like uh, what are their activities how they will connect with the story and all that so that's why they need script okay and they also need voice over okay to understand their uh, their characteristics and all that but as i say not every studio provide you voice over at the very first stage because it takes time uh, for recording and all that so uh, and the next department is concept art of course concept art department also need the script to understand about the location understand about the feel of the story understand the environment okay so after that layout after this concept art layout will enhance uh, those concept art they will add some more detail they will add the final line okay they will add uh, the feel of the uh, the perspective and the feel uh, of the bg like which angle they should portray the story and all that okay so these departments connect to uh, the script department okay and now it comes to storyboard okay so why uh, i have separated these two things storyboard and animatic the answer is in storyboard department you should draw the panel first okay forget about the timing forget about the extra poses forget about animating it okay you should uh, portray your idea first to your director okay sir this is my idea this is how story will move after it getting locked then you should working uh, on uh, animatic part you need to add more poses you need to put timing in that you need to put sounds to make it looks better or you know uh, get the feel of the story and all that so storyboard department is connected to script department okay of course you need to read the script first characters you need to know your characters because you need to draw the character inside your panel so you need to work with character character design department then concept art of course you need to know the environment because you also need to draw the bg layout because you also need to know the perspective of the bg like like uh, which angle uh, i should uh, draw the character and all that or which angle i should use to you know uh, connect my story with the character and all that so here's the catch like uh, once you are uh, having all those final layouts okay so it doesn't mean like you need to use those layouts only basis on the master location or the master layout why it's called master layout because if they should draw everything in one frame okay so entire city okay there's a shopping mall there's a gym or there's a uh, you know uh, school office and everything they should put every elements in one bg that's why it's called master bg now it's up to you okay which part you want to show in your panel okay so you have that liberty so and uh, if you also create uh, some new angles basis on the master location so you need to tell the uh, layout uh, supervisor like okay uh, i am going to put this angle or add this angle basis on your bg so this is uh, this bg you need to create again or this bg you have to design as per my requirement so they will do it for you okay so that's how you will connect with those departments if you need like uh, okay you have designed this character like this but as per script uh that character should be you know uh, looks uh, looks fat or looks thin so they will change according to your thoughts or according the according your needs okay so uh so talking about this rigging department so once the character designs get final you are also happy with the character your uh, the turn the turn arounds are there your director they, they are also happy with your character it will move on the next department which is rigging department 
So in rigging department, if you if you are gonna you know animate your character in Flash, okay, or Toon Boom, you need to rig your character, okay, every joints and all that. So this department does that for you, okay. So and uh, after that, so we are here concept art then layout. So once your layout get uh, finalized, then it will move to next department which is color BG. So they will color that final layout basis on script requirement or your requirement or your director requirement. Okay. So after that, so these three departments are working parallelly. Actually, five departments with Storyboard they are working parallelly. So once you are ha uh, so in Storyboard part, now you are having character, script, concept art, and layout. So it's time to move on next department which is animatic so once your um, channel or the director they are happy with your panels and board they are saying like okay it looks good now you should put the timing and more poses so time to do the animatic part so in animatic part you need to uh, clean your panels okay you need to put more poses like like all the uh, um, extra poses like antique or some break uh, breakdown pose uh, or some elongated pose to uh, get that flow in your animatic you should put some um, uh, you know um, dummy music or sound effects to feel it alive okay and uh, once it get approved then these departments will uh, work with your animatic what are the departments like of course it's layout because once your animatic uh, get finalized then you realize like your department uh, your director they are keep on adding some notes like okay that bg uh, was there but i need this bg should be here okay so just change the angle and all that so even though in animatic part still the changes are there okay so this layout department should meet that to finalize your animatic okay so that's that's how it's connected to layout even the bg color also if you uh, uh, your requirement is like okay i uh, i need to put light from there or the look and feel should be like this or the shadow should be uh, you know um, uh, the uh, placing of the shadow should be like that so those notes you need to write down uh, in your animatic like okay so this uh, color bg like this bg department they will follow your lead okay and they will color the b accordingly after the final animatic then it's of course it's animation okay so this animation they will work with your animatic they will work with your, your character the, uh, means uh, rigged character okay so scene cuts uh, should be there so once it's done okay and of course the color bg also so the animation department they will animate your character according your animatic and uh, with the help of the uh, character and the color bg okay once it's done it's time to uh, move the next department which is compositing okay so in compositing part they will do the uh, like uh, enhancement like if there is a camera movement or uh, if the bg is not proper uh, they will fix it over here okay if the animation is bit jerky okay they uh, they will fix that and all that so once they are done the next department is final editing so the final uh, so in final editing they gonna work with your uh, animatic because they need to see whether your animatic is actually matching with your final product with your animation or not so if not they will uh, uh, you know uh, uh, tell your director like okay sir this this part is not matching so we need to reanimate or whatever it is okay they should put the final sound effects or the final music the background music and all that okay so once it's done the entire thing will deliver to the channel and that called master delivery okay so if your channel are happy with that okay good to go your uh, product will air on TV and if uh, there's a certain fix up or certain note, they will tell you. So you need to fix accordingly. Okay. So uh, this is the proper pipeline inside the studio. 
okay so once you are uh, you are into it you will know uh, how thing works according that chart and all that okay but the thing is uh, if you noticed like your department like i'm only talking about storyboard and animatic it's really a it's it's a backbone for for any product okay without it nothing can happen okay how you will plan your animation if there is no animatic okay how you will plan your you know compositing if there's no any animatic they don't know the guidance then then the editing they also need guide which is your animatic your drawing okay uh, layout uh, without your animatic they don't know uh, like uh, what should be the perspective or uh, how i will draw the bg in which angle okay bg they also don't have any clue like okay there's no any suggestion for light they they are no suggestion for shadow so how i will paint my bg and all that okay so if you are uh, like uh, um, if you are realizing like your department is really important for those departments also without it nothing actually will move okay every department i'm not saying like uh, no these departments are uh, nothing to do with and all, all that every department is important but the thing is this is the blueprint this is the backbone okay that's how this is why uh, in our industry uh, there's a certain place for storyboard artist or animatic artist because they are they are the most needed person in any pipeline okay because without their planning because as you can see as a storyboard artist is not like that you just you are just a storyboard artist okay actually you are a uh, like a co director okay because you are giving direction okay you are working with your director or you are involving in film making actually because storyboard is very tough job it's it's not about the drawing or not about the you know the panel or not about okay how good uh, i am in animation or how good i put the uh, timing into my animatic it's not about that it's all about support the other departments you have to think uh, the entire thing okay inside your mind let me give you an example like once the script is done okay you need to judge so many thing what is your budget okay because as you see my animatic okay it's a high budget why because so many characters are there okay and uh, the camera is moving uh, in a very you know certain way okay and it's a hand drawn okay you can't just do it uh, the help of the motion tweaking or the uh, uh, like software tool and all that only thing is you need to draw every frame is drawing okay so it's a high budget uh, animatic so if your production is asking you like the, this is your script provide me the storyboard you need to think what is your budget okay so i will do the do my stuff according to the budget if you are putting like 1 lakh for uh, 10 minutes i will do it accordingly if you put like 10000 for uh, 10 minutes i will do that accordingly okay so you need to think about the budget first okay like see as a junior so much enthusiasm is you know uh, is there uh, at the very beginning at your career like no i will show like i will show my stuff to this uh, people i will do uh, that uh, camera movement like this like this 360 degree rotation blah 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 everything but as a storyboard artist as a production guy you are failed there because your production are not going to support you your director will tell you okay that's your stuff i like it but we can't produce it because too much work is there okay because to support your 360 degree rotation i need to draw every bg i need to draw i need to color every bg in animation they will ask different different angle they need to you know animate the character in every frame so i can't afford it okay so see your responsibilities okay so once you are in storyboard department you need to think lot of thing like the budget okay then the uh, then the character also like you can't just tell your ca character designer like okay i need full turn around like that they will ask you see uh, our budget is not much so we can't show your character from every angle make it three fourth only or front that's your choice so see you need to think about that also then uh, the layout 
they will also poke you like hey buddy the way you draw the background is impossible for us to draw because there are too many elements there are too many angles we don't have uh, that much artists because we have deadlines we have deliveries so so you need to think about that like okay so once i get the master bg i will not change anything okay i will only use the cut shots that's up to you okay then uh, color bg you need to think about the uh, color palette also you can't just tell them like okay uh, i need uh, this uh, this background should looks like this uh, film like coco or lion king like that you can't you need to uh, guide them in proper way and always keep the budget and the deadline inside your mind because the more you are taking time to design your stuff looks good actually you are eating time from another department okay because if your production says i need that storyboard in 20 days but you are the boss and you says nobody like uh, i need to do plenty uh, plenty of things and all that i need 40 days nobody will give you and if you are taking that you are actually making the mistakes because it will affect your entire production pipeline because once you are delaying to deliver the animatic your animation get delayed your composing get delayed your final editing get delayed channel will you know bang on you like hey what's going on okay so see you need to think about every department okay then animation is more important they definitely will bang you if they find like you are making some poses which is really takes time to you know uh, draw digitally or the rigor they will also complain uh, complain they will also you know uh, uh, they will complain uh, against you like see the way you uh, draw the key poses and all that we can't provide you that much of big character or uh, like uh, the way it's you know face the any other character we need to rig it properly or we need to uh, rig in different way we can't afford afford it so before you start your storyboarding you need to think all those things in certain day okay how i will move what should i show okay is it budget friendly or is it uh, also supporting the other department and all that okay so it's a very big responsibility okay and the same time you need to you know, um, uh, smoothen uh, your uh, storytelling part also sometimes there's a uh, fight against you and in your mind it's like mind says no make it good because it looks good on tv it that shot is really needed but your uh, head it telling you no no but you can't do it because otherwise uh, you don't meet your deadline and all that so you also need to maintain that balance okay how i will work or how i will portray my thought into the storyboard and all that so the easiest part it start with your director because he is almighty or channel before you start your storyboard always uh, carry your script to your director and ask him like okay sir that's my thought check your thumbnails okay i hope you know about the thumbnails and all that so take your thumbnails to your director sir this is my thought okay what about uh, what about uh, like uh, your view on that so he will tell you this we can do this we can't do this we can do this we can't do so take notes okay so now you are you uh, you you get the direction okay nobody will uh, poke you because if layout department says you like hey boss this and that you easily can tell like this is the channel requirement this is the director requirement okay so they will also follow you because of course it comes from almighty so it's a good idea always start with your director okay uh, take brief uh, and take some notes and of course uh, force him to put his thought into your story okay because end of the day he is the boss and he is going to approve your storyboard so it's it's a good idea to um, like uh, start with your own ideas and you know uh, uh, having those words from another department like hey you are thinking too much we can't do it and production is also poking you hey boss what are you doing we have deliveries we have deadlines and all that it's always good okay take one day go to your director ask him what to do and try to you know uh, portray his thought in your creative way okay got the idea is okay that's your idea but how it it 
uh, how uh, I'm gonna show it, that's up to me. Okay, so take that liberty and enjoy that freedom. Okay. So this is how the storyboard department works in uh, like studio environment. And uh, like I say some of the tips to you, how you should start with storyboard, uh, what should be the uh, thinking process and uh, what are the things that you should ask your director and all that. Okay. And always do thumbnails. Okay. Because it helps you uh, to avoid a lot of extra works and all that. So, okay. Uh, so now I will tell you some storytelling part or storytelling tricks. Okay. How you uh, will make your story more appealing or what are the mediums that excites your uh, audience to see more of your work. Okay. So let. So this is one of my animation. Okay. I'm trying to, you know, use here some different approach, okay, a different visual to connect with my audience in a different way. And of course, uh, why I'm choosing this media? Because I think in that way, a lot of people, you know, uh, connected, uh, uh, they, uh, e uh, they found it easy to connect with me and uh, the idea uh, is very fresh. Okay, uh, so let's see this first. Because of the resolution thing, uh, like uh, I'm just putting it like that. So uh, <laughs> this is it. Uh, the that flame is called like me and Juju, that character. And as you can see, like this, this was my first attempt. So so much camera shake was there and all that. But the thing is, like, okay. Uh, so uh, here's the process. So let's see the process first. How it's made. So as you can see, uh, my tool was uh, um, flash at the time. And uh, so here, so here is the real footage. Okay. So I'm just assuming uh, like the character should move like that and uh, act accordingly. Okay. So this is my camera footage. Okay. So once it's done, then uh, this thing, this juju. So I have done every uh, uh, every drawing frame by frame to you know register uh, uh, register the character with my hand properly. Okay. And this is a classical animation. Every frame is drawn here uh, frame by frame only. As you can see uh, those frames. Okay. No motion twinning and all that. Because personally, I hate that. I really like to, uh, you know, animate my character or whatever stuff uh, uh, in hand-drawn way, old school style. So, so as you can see, like, 
I was telling about the storytelling part. So I still can do it using uh, the entire thing in 2D animation, like my hand or myself uh, in line drawing and all that. But uh, the thing is, I thought like in that way, uh, my idea or uh, this content is become ordinary because everyone does that. Okay. So that's why uh, to make my storytelling uh, remarkable uh, or uh, to my audience, like uh, they also should uh, recognize my effort or they should, uh, you know, uh, want to see my work again and again. So that's why I'm doing this experimental thing. Like, okay, what if uh, instead of 2D, uh, I should sit there uh, and animate that character accordingly? Okay, so that's a challenge. Okay. So once this uh, clip released on the social media, I got, I got, uh, I got like plenty of comments like, uh, yes, this is what we are looking for, or it's a very fresh thing, or the storytelling is good. Okay. So the storytelling part over here is like to interact my imagination with real life. Okay. That's, that was my actual agenda behind that because this character is really feels alive when it's interact with my hand or my, you know, uh, my gestures accordingly uh, and all that. So that, that what my audience wants to see. Okay. And this is the key uh, purpose of my storytelling. Like I'm able to, you know, uh, tell my story uh, in different way with different medium. And of course, uh, with different approach. So always try to, uh, you know, keep in your mind, like, ev like before I said, even though you are uh, like uh, draw one frame or uh, you are doing uh, working on one illustration, try to feel it first. Okay. Try to put the information in it first. How audience should react on your work. Okay. Forget about your tool. Okay. Forget about your software because there's a tendency like, okay, uh, I, I need to learn first uh, my software first. Okay. Because uh, I need to, you know, uh, put myself updated. Okay. Or uh, uh, if somebody asks me like, Hey buddy, uh, you know, blender or, you know, Maya or, you know, blah, 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 you know, grease pencil. So I, I should answer them like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have uh, all these stuffs with me and all that. Forget that. If your stuff is good, nah, nobody cares. Take it from me. Really, nobody cares about your tool. Even nobody, uh, you know, interested in it. They only questioning you about your product. Like, wow, the way you telling your story, the way you, you know, do your digital painting, it looks awesome. Okay, because they will connect uh, through it. Okay, just for an example. Uh, I think everybody has seen Avatar, okay, from James Cameron, okay. So, are you really asking uh, if you are an webinar with James Cameron? Are you really asking such questions like, sir, uh, what software you are using for editing? Which camera you are using for this software? Of course not. You don't care about it. You only ask questions like, sir, tell me about the character design. Tell me about your inspiration. Okay, tell me about your ideas. Same goes for you. Okay, try to play with your uh, content first. Okay, try to find the possibilities, trying to find the way to uh, approach it uh, differently from others. Okay, try to uh, look for the storytelling. Like, okay, this is, this is my part. This is my uh, product. How uh, I can show it in different way. So people are really engaged to my uh, work and they want to see uh, my work again and again and they actually uh, they should wait for my work like no man uh, this guy is cool you should see his stuff okay he's uh, you know uh, do his stuff in different way his approach is good this is your winning point okay so always think so storytelling is only not about like okay how i tell the story okay but of course how i portray the story it's also included okay what should be the visuals? Okay. Every frame should uh, give some ideas to my uh, audience. Okay. Every, every moment, it has to have some uh, meaning behind it. Every drawing, every gestures, 
should connect with my audience that's how they will uh, you know connect it to my film it's simple if we are watching lion king okay do i really do we really care about the popcorn or the cold drink of course not okay we are just you know uh, mesmerizing mesmerized to you know see the magic on screen like wow but let's see uh, at the same time we are seeing some you know some uh, not develop that must develop content on screen we are always you know uh, uh, trying to find some alibi to you know uh, take some popcorn and all that or you know we are uh, busy with our mobile why because it's not engaging okay storytelling is weak visuals are weak nothing is connected to me okay the acting the gestures have no meaning okay then why should i care with your you know stuff maybe it's good for you because you are putting your effort your team is working with uh, uh, working in it like for 3 months 3 years and all that but if there's no any feeling if there's no any storytelling if there's no any strong medium if there's no any you know uh, information or uh, what do i call like feeling nobody cares so once you are uh, trying to attempt some uh, thing like whatever it is like your storyboard your uh, uh, illustrations your animation or even uh, your clay animation whatever it is okay even though you are you are no very basics of say put something in it to excites your audience put something something okay like the character should looks good even though the animation is not uh, looking that good Uh, or you you animate some character okay animation is really looks good but your bg is really looks dull but at least you should work on your animation frame by frame so people will appreciate no uh, his uh, bg is dull but see his animation this is your winning point point something you need to put good into your work that's how you will improve really actually that's how i improve day by day okay you need to you know uh, find those things every time like okay this is my idea okay uh, 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 like one kid uh, he is going to school i will animate that put something in it something childish something memorable something is from your uh, childhood also like okay uh, by that time i am going to my school this incident is happened happened with me and that that was really fun put that into your story people will relate that like hey see rahul's work uh, the way <coughs> that boy high five, uh, give high five to his friend or <coughs> you know ride on his cycle we did the same way so that's why they will relate with your content <coughs> sorry uh, or uh, they will understand your story they will appreciate that feeling okay so always look for something something good or something informative or something that look aesthetics in your work i'm not telling you should go for a film and every should uh, and everything should uh, fall on the place your bg should look good your character should look good your uh, uh, props should look good no <laughs> maybe your bg looks dull maybe the props are not up to the mark but the animation looks good you are winning you are the winner maybe the animation is so bad but the feel of the bg the shadow of the bg the way you you know portray it's really working with the your animation it's good at least you have put in something in it okay so try to think in that way always okay so um, uh, now <coughs> i'm going to show you uh, like how to make a uh, storytelling part more stronger um in a certain way or how to deal with the script how you can put your thoughts uh, into your storyboard uh, storyboard and how to make a uh, you know so so or normal looking storyboard in in uh, to a dynamic and uh, of course the uh, the uh, the feeling should be there okay so the approach should be different so how you will uh, get that uh, effect okay so i will narrate the transitions also while i am working so first of all uh, i want to show you some script okay so <coughs> so
so this is our script okay basis on that uh, we will do some storyboard okay so uh, i already uh, have made a, a storyboard basis on this uh, script okay uh, i'm going to show you so be, uh, before that uh, just uh, go through the script first so scene one it's interior okay it's daytime uh, the location is school and the uh, uh, and location is school and classroom okay so this is these are your locations okay so you need to ask your layout department to provide the school and classroom bg first before you start okay you should ask uh, your uh, character design and uh, design department like provide me this teacher or the kids okay so i can start with uh, it's a daytime it's an interior and this is the scene one beginning of your story so let's go through the story first uh, tables and chairs are seen lined up in the classroom okay children sitting on them are seen engaged in drawing teacher moving moving to and from across the classroom is keeping a close eye on to uh, on the children so here's a dialogue for teacher like acche uh, se drawing karna kyunki jo best drawing hogi use saal bhar ke liye school mein sajaya jayega okay then it's cut to another uh, scene which is scene 2 okay so this is just given you uh, 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 give some ideas to you like this is how the script is uh, uh, script is and uh, the placing of the scenes okay like scene 1 then cut to scene 2 there's uh, another uh, sequence but this sequence uh, uh, has a connection with Uh, scene one. That's how your story flow is going. So we are gonna uh, uh, storyboard for only scene one. Okay. So as you can understand the story and the script. So let's see, uh, like uh, let's see it in visuals. So as you can see. So uh, this is very rough manner. I have drawn all these things. Like uh, I'm. i should call it it's my uh, thumbnail okay so uh, because i need to put plenty things in in a certain time so that's why uh, you know the drawings are very rough and all that but still you can get the idea okay so this is the school background okay so this is for establish the shot where the uh, your uh, you know uh, uh, story uh, taking place okay so this is the thing school background uh zoom in okay so you are engaging your uh, viewers into it so you are going in and another thing is uh, it's uh, it's a, a give your audience a feeling like you are going inside the school okay so zoom in dissolve it's a dissolve cross dissolve then uh, the classroom over here all are uh, busy with their paintings as you can see here like uh, children sitting on them and are engaged in drawing okay because uh, as per the drawing there's a competition is going on ठीक so they are draw, uh, drawing with their stuffs over here okay then close up the shots of course because people need to know like what they are drawing and uh, how the session is going and all that so is drawing uh, so there's a drawing of sun okay they, uh, they are busy with their drawing okay so next part is teacher moving to and from across the classroom okay so this is the classroom this is the main door entrance so teacher ah uh, okay now he's coming and seeing all those paintings is happy to see uh, their creativity okay so this is the close up because what he is seeing now he is busy uh, to co color that sun feels happy then that announcement okay which is this dialogue okay so this is the dialogue part and end of the sequence so as you can see the story is good to go 
because every point over there it's there okay tables and chairs are seen lined up in the classroom so see this visual is there already okay then uh, teacher uh, then children sitting on them uh, are seen engaged in drawing okay as you can see things are going fine here then teacher moving to and from across the classroom is keeping a close eye on the children see same thing happening over here then this dialogue part okay so as you can see you are actually meeting all those part all those necessary part uh, that's written on the script okay and uh, like uh, people also understand your story because visuals are very clear and straight cut okay nothing is messy okay but the thing is fun points are missing over here because it's very flat storytelling okay flat angles okay uh, very less information about the scenario okay and uh, it's not engaging at all okay it's like okay blah 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 hmm, blah 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 okay so now uh, we are gonna you know make it more interesting in a same storytelling this with uh, uh, we definitely gonna use uh, some of the visual from it but we will make the storytelling part more interesting or more engaging okay so how so let's start this So as you can see, this is our frames for our old storytelling, our boring storytelling. Now I'm going to select a new layer and we'll start with background first. So as per script, day, school, classroom. Let's focus on those part. Okay, day and school. Okay. So, Let's say it's a school building from different angle. Okay. Some trees are there to feel that perspective. Okay. So as per script, it's a school. Let's put some more detail to get the feeling. It's a school bus some students they are working towards school to get that feel <coughs> i'm gonna show you the entire process in very rough way okay because we don't have much time So this shadow and for look and feel and now we should add some oil over there. Maybe it's a light post and all that, you know. So here's the thing. Okay. See, this is also a, also the same approach with same DG like school. Okay but here the approach is different why because you are 
giving some feeling over here okay like this is the school it's a busy day uh, okay uh, kids are moving in over here okay you also should put some arrow okay and uh, like uh, you are also also using that uh, well for better perspective you know so compared to this actually this vj is giving giving you the more idea about the school environment okay because uh, see the bus the kids the way it's drawn the perspective everything is working properly and it looks good on screen okay so moving to the next part so tables and chairs are seen lined up in the classroom but the thing is here here is also a point like the teacher says like whoever uh, you know draw the best drawing so they uh, their drawing should uh, show on the wall okay so it's a competition going on so let's play with that part how maybe we should draw a poster close up a poster like art competition and all that a brush or you know some color palette so this is the poster actually it's on notice board so other notifications or the sticky notes should be there this is for some look and feel for the depth okay now This is the notice board. Now we need to draw the BG first. Okay, it's the corridor. Some lockers should be there. There's a kid school. One dustbin over here. So some posters of anything some interior decoration okay so this is your look and feel it helps your audience to understand uh, to understand your story or enjoy or enjoy the every beat of it okay now they are more engaged okay because in every bit you are giving them such information so closer then here you should put this indication like zoom out camera zoom out to establish that entire part where the uh, this notice board actually is okay now the best part is composition okay it's all about students so put some students over there even though they are not participating in this art competition but still they are uh, you know seeing notice board like okay this kind of thing thing is going on right now okay some are uh, you know uh, busy with his water bottle so you should put such kind of attitude in it so see 
now it supports your story okay this is how kids behave actually okay they are very casual okay uh, they can uh, sip water from their bottle anywhere okay so this is you know uh, most engaging moment for your audience also now they are into it, into your story you know because they can relate like yeah when i was kid i was also doing this or that you know now you should provide a good composition also just make it dark so uh, your director can understand about your well and you wells so So here you don't need to draw your character again and again. You just flip it with bigger size. You know. So this is your composition now. Okay. Now you see, sorry, you see this kind of composition. it's boring right because it's flat okay and uh, like the way it's it's uh, placed like informations are missing many informations are missing so how we gonna enhance that okay how we gonna you know make our compositions really looks good this is the answer using of uh, you know uh, oil ul and background fundamentals over here okay now you still can play with it like they are you know like this okay so school dissolve this art okay for established what's going on inside the school zoom out okay to establish the uh, you know uh, the composition or the scenario then movements that movements helps you or your director to understand the flow of the story now the next part so tables and chairs are seen lined up in the classroom okay so here we can use the same shot sorry okay so after that after the cut to classroom okay because it's a good way to show uh, like talking about the camera angle okay it's bit up why because we need to establish the character first with their activities okay so we still can plan this shot like that okay like in this angle like 
this angle tables 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 They are sitting like this, like this. What is missing over here? They are activities. Because we don't know what they are doing over here. Okay. We can't see their pages. Okay. So the information is missing uh, with this angle. Okay. But it's working over here. Because we can see their pages. We can see their color. We, we still can understand like, okay, the uh art process is going on okay the competition is going on people are kids are engaging with their drawings and all that okay so after that the this is the part you sitting there and are seen uh, engaged in the drawing okay engaged then they're drawing cool so we can use this panel over there now the enhancement part here we can see him uh, like he is busy with uh, with drawing okay what's the fun part fun part is here now this fellow So I'm just setting up the setup first. Okay. This is the other kids over here. He's also busy with his drawing part and many more. So this is the angle. So kids are all busy with their paintings. But this fellow, he's messed up. Why? See his desk. And now the fun part is here. So, oh, sorry, maybe it's all in one layer. <coughs> on your screen. how he is thinking like forget about the color hookup okay I'm just putting it in randomly
so as you can see he is trying to like find the blue color but there is no any blue color because it's it's already uh, you know uh, he already painted himself with the blue so it's finished okay so now he is thinking how do i you know get that color then oh it's on my nose okay then story goes on he is happy like okay there is the blue color so see this little little thing na it it will enhance your story it will add fun to it okay because they are kids okay so try to think in that way they are enjoying their work but at the same time they uh, you know uh, they uh, they are messing around they find find the solution also and when it is done they become happy okay so this is the feel of the entire competition okay the thing is they should enjoy that part now here's the thing uh, so we are done with that part children uh, sitting on them are seeing engaged uh, in drawing now a uh, teacher uh, moving uh, moving to and from across the classroom uh, is keeping a close eye on to the children okay so let's make the entry of the teacher more dynamic okay start with the background first entrance of different different classrooms okay suggestions of lights maybe a uh, one drawer should be there okay or you should put a door over there okay this is so you can put that drawer over here okay tag for classes okay here uh many uh superhero painting because it's a children school okay always put your bg in light color okay so you will get the feel of your perspective and uh, black for your character so your character get highlighted okay and you also uh, can put the oil in different color to feel the depth okay so now this is your bg here one fellow is here yawning So 
so I would like to animate him to get the feel at the same time he is busy busy with his back itching it or we can avoid this movement right now okay we'll add later so maybe oh, it's bored okay then this thing gestures it's very important Now we can animate his hands again for feeling. Hmm. Now the funny part. Nobody knows why who the character uh, is or uh, what's his business. What is he doing here? Okay, so this is the catch for your audience. Now. We're gonna reveal it. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, sir is approaching. and his reaction need to change accordingly Again, gesture. With proper register, okay. What are you doing here? You should be in your class. Or this looks better. It's Gives the gesture bossy look. Then
now the revealing part sorry sir that's why i am here because of the punishment then So see the story flow or the or how you reveal your story part by part okay to catch your audience nobody will go for uh, like popcorn or cold drink until they are not knowing like why the character is there okay so this is the tricks actually <sighs> What a boring day. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Huh, sir? Hmm, what are you doing here? Oh. <laughs> hmm. Then. We should. Work out. course this gesture will also change accordingly gone okay then of course acting such a relief oh okay so of course to uh, uh, you know uh, this is additional part you you can you know end your scene over here or you still can uh, you know take it forward for more fun okay how like like i said this is the additional part okay uh, actually this looks good okay but still uh, if he wants to so this part oof, then you should look here Flip it, but match your registration here, here, then let's dance. Nobody is watching.
let him enjoy his you know school days or time so it's like okay so here no one is watching there nobody okay ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. he's dancing okay end of the sequence so here okay uh, you are putting this one to uh, uh, like establish his entry teacher's entry so here your audience um, uh, you know uh, get the information like about his behavior towards kids he is strict but at the same time he is also loving uh, he is very uh, uh, you know lovable person because he is just here he is not punished him again like he is just uh, uh, telling her like mm, whatever you are doing do it properly okay okay sir mm. so this is the storytelling part okay you should establish your character before they will attend your main event main event is here okay like here now he need to uh, you know enter the uh, enter inside the classroom and um, he should watch all all the artwork that's what script wants to do us see but we should use our creativity and adding those part these part to make it looks good more interesting okay so after that now we can use these frames these frames we need to put one blank thing frame over here In between, maybe we can put some cross dissolve. Okay. Then this here. After that. From here, we need to change the storytelling, okay? Or we need to put more fun into this. So here, he is watching the drawing. Next, what about the kids? So here's the kids. Classroom window, okay. Maybe some posters, lights inside the classroom, which is done. One switch, and all the students over there, they are also busy with their stuffs. Okay, now
they are busy with their drawings maybe this is the color palette okay the brushes brush okay That is color palette. We are busy with the drawings now. This fellow is a bit naughty. Seems like he's running out of his color. Mm, nothing is working. Okay, then. What should I do? head then some red color in your palette You can extend his hand, means you can take liberty because it's cartoon. just poking on his back okay again uh, animate that finger a little bit get the feeling ding ding okay then Thing about it kind of attitude and this good fellow
then this happened <laughs> I need that red color from your palette then again maybe we can use the same pose over here and here mm -hmm. I don't know about anything then we can use the same pose over here so see this kind of act or you know this kind of activities it's it's really add some value to your storyboard okay because you are putting so much uh, information about the environment about your character uh, about about your uh, about the about the kids okay like how kids react in such situation and how they are gonna enjoy their own time okay uh, they are kids so they are naughty okay so how you will use that uh, keywords naughty uh, into your uh, storyboard part in a funny way to so your uh, audience uh, get engaged with your storytelling and uh, they really appreciate the way you uh, think and all that okay so uh, this is the thing that you should uh, uh, you know uh, working on it before you uh, go to your director you should thumbnail your ideas like that okay in a very rough manner okay and uh, show it to your director and before he uh, guide uh, guide you with uh, with certain way you should tell him about your thought your thinking process your creativity that's how you will build a good relationship with your director your director will uh, you know, uh, your director get confidence about you and he, he will engage you in uh, certain projects and certain and many different things because he knows, yes, this guy is, is really creative. Okay. And he, he is that, uh, he has that ability to think uh, out of the box or think out of the script. Okay. So that's why I have shown you two different things. Uh, once you are just a robot, you just um, you know take orders and uh, portray it uh, through your storyboard so uh, this is your option okay here everything is goes well perfect fine but in a very robotic manner okay no engagement no fun nothing okay people will people definitely will see your film but they get bored okay after uh, after uh, uh, um, you know uh, the after effect is yeah double flame is okay okay the story yeah the story is there and all that but once you are uh, you know uh, approach the same story the same storyline in different way with your creativity and such kind of adding uh, uh, fun then people will tell about your work like hey like it was fun it was fun to watch rahul's film you know the way those those children are you know uh, interact with uh, each other and all that is reminds me my school days i definitely uh, gonna recommend it to my other friends of my family or my kids like hey go watch this certain thing okay so so this is the key okay those things like uh, this this punishment or uh, this color uh, you know th this thing 
or uh, this thing these three key points are there to enhance your um, storytelling and uh, you know you got recognized by your director because of this three part because your script writer they are not uh, they are not putting it into their script okay uh, your director maybe maybe uh, he he will suggest you uh, any other way but he never thought about these things but you uh, but you are the one who bringing those fresh thing to his table and discuss about it sir we still can do the same thing in that way also okay so it will um, you know uh, that will excite my audience and all that so think about the opportunities where you can put your uh, effort where you can put your own thoughts or your experience into your storyboard okay always always try to make your storyboard inspired by real life okay real life event always think like okay so this is the art competition is going on and if i were the kid at that time maybe i could do with my friends like this like this like that put it put it inside it okay that's what your storyboard get alive okay people will relate like yes uh, my childhood uh, i also have such kind of scenario at that time okay so i should discuss about it or i should i should show this cartoon to my kids like hey see uh, and that is how uh, you know uh, i was reacting at that time and all that so moving ahead from here okay so here nobody knows about this naughty fellow what you have done now the second point is okay and uh, here i missed one thing you can put one detail over here or here because as you can see he is having these glasses over his eyes play with it you know all the typical teachers are okay such kind of gestures hmm then again here so see it's a very little effort but it gives you a feeling that teacher he is really engaged with his drawing okay uh, he is actually here he is going for a closer look okay if you can you still can you know yeah Mm hmm so it gives you a feeling of his uh, characteristic you know feeling of the environment like okay i am the teacher and i need to encourage those people so i need to take a closer look like hmm good one carry on kind of thing you know even even the even in the gestures okay see the gesture okay i still can put him in such kind of gesture so see the difference between this and that it's also working towards the kids and this is also working towards the kids but the way he putting his hand behind like he is relax and he is enjoying you know uh, and uh, uh, because uh, because uh, like uh, both of hands are behind so it's very easy to shift his weight 
towards the pages like i easily can make such kind of gesture like hey kid what are you doing kind of approach you see you see here to here it's more easy otherwise in animation once i need to uh, shift this pose to this pose i need to uh, you know make two or three key uh, keyframes for hand animation which i can easily avo avoid with such kind of gesture and it looks very friendly very relaxing okay so always think about your gesture before you before you draw it now think about how the character gonna interact with other character is he fat is he lovable is he angry okay so every uh, characteristic has their own gestures has their own approach to do the same thing okay so try to uh, you know uh, figure it out before you draw your character always think about the gestures okay always always you know uh, break your boundaries break your comfort zone close your eyes and try to imagine the gesture first before you draw once your imagination has done it will not take time to you know draw that particular thing see me it's it's uh, i think it's still not uh, even one hour i have i already have drawn like 60 frames okay why because i can feel the gestures okay i can feel the story over here i'm i'm really confident about about his character okay so anyway you should move so here the nobody knows about that not if hello then something is here so someone is there of course no need to say teacher intention because he thought like teacher have saw me huh? but now it's different approach of course is angry but It's okay. You are just a kid. Enjoy. Kind of attitude. Then staging need to change because 
we're gonna about to hit that part dialog so message box or uh, like a window maybe chair 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 okay, still looking at teacher also drawing friendly approach okay so you need to maintain the hookup with previous posts like this to this just a instruction then here this dialog अच्छे से drawing करना okay make it good so then this part kyunki jo best drawing hogi use saal bhar ke liye school mein sajaya jayega best drawing should get reward so the best drawing should get reward we can show it in a same panel because it's a continue dialogue and he is very
they're listening. Maybe here also I should put some well. Somebody is sitting over here also. This is your uh, area. Teacher is saying like best drawing should get reward. So really, Everybody is smiling because everyone loves kids from school and all that. Hmm. Oopsie. Then the starts painting. with double energy. So now, so the thing is, let's rewind our story. So this is the school setup. People, kids are going here, there means uh, towards the school. Art competition. Zoom out. Corridor scene. Okay, everyone is busy with their art. Okay, this guy is funny. This fellow is enjoying his punishment over here, sir. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Nobody watching. Tinka chika, tinka chika, tinka chika. Then crossfit. Okay, competition is still going on. So. Hmm? What happened over here? Hmm. Their stuff is good. Carry on. Very good. Mm hmm. Oh no. Oh, why do I get this red color? Ah, idea. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Whatever. Dun dun. Huh? Mm. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, make it good. 
it is if it's good then you will get get an uh, get a reward huh oh yes get back to work then da -da 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 -da. see so this is how you can narrate this story in different way so i already have explained two ways to you know uh, like two different storytelling one is here boring robotic no fun no engaging at all even though it meets all the story needs and another one is here okay where it is fun to watch much more information is there it's engaging people loves to see their uh, activities okay it's funny totally feeling of the school is there okay this naughtiness these things so here's the thing this is how you can you know make your storytelling more stronger more appealing and more engaging so some of the thing that i would like to say uh, before you start your story always you know uh, always read the script at least 3 to 4 time every sequence you know every um, like every lines every dialogue so you can understand the flow of the story sometimes okay your creativity is way better than script so don't hesitate if you need certain changes into script change it okay even i am also doing this okay because i know the story is works in that way okay and it looks good it will looks good okay and this is the need of the story but before that as you are uh, you are uh, i'm not telling you the fresher but you don't have such such uh, experience you know uh, to understand the story so deeply so always go for your senior your supervisor or your director ask them like uh, sir can we do it in that way also or uh, if we are going to change this line or this dialogue into this so what do you think uh, it's uh, if it's going to work or not so once you are uh, you know start putting suggestions towards your senior or towards your director believe me it will not bother them you know it will help them to understand okay even though you have uh, you don't have such experience but the way you narrate me your idea it's good and and it gives them the confidence this guy is uh, even though he is junior but he is better than this than that that a b c d person because nobody comes with me uh, you know come to me with uh, such an you know creative idea or at least he, 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 uh, like uh, he has some guts to tell me like if we can change uh, here uh, in the script so believe me it will give you some extra boost okay don't hesitate okay because see end of the day we all are trying to uh, put the story in in a in a perfect way okay so if as a junior or as a less experienced person you have something and you are confident about it it will uh, it will you know add some value to my sequence go for it if you not going to discuss your thoughts to anyone how come you know like uh, if it's good or not okay somebody should be there to tell you like no but nobody it's it's really good it it will working thanks thanks for your idea it will give it will gives you confidence and see as a storyboard artist we all are film makers we are all are storytellers okay story is our product so you need to get used to it with your product like no i can tell a story okay this is this is my strong area this is my product this is my passion okay so don't hesitate first read your script three or four times go to your director share your ideas okay do some thumbnails obviously this is this is very important part okay and don't you know this is my next tip uh, like don't put much detail in your uh, you know thumbnail because the idea is thumbnail is not like you are just putting some drawing into this little little box okay 
it's not about that it's like the how you gonna narrate your story so this is the first first look so even though you are not putting this kind of figure into this this will also work this is the teacher this is the kid this is another kid this is another kid this is the corridor area perspective shoot like this that's it some shadow good to go don't worry about the detail blah 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 because you are there with your director to narrate your idea you still can tell him sir uh, so the teacher should be stand here the kid should be stand here then we need to cut to a student close up like that then uh, sir will ask him some questions so maybe we can uh, put him put the student and the sir in one frame like that he is angry so that blah 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 okay so once your this thumbnail or this idea get approved then you should work on your gesture like you should convert this this thing this thing see but at least you should know like okay my stagings my my camera cuts my uh, master shots they are okay or not so do it okay because in, when you are gonna attain your thumbnail you, you realized inside your mind like so many thoughts are you know keep on bouncing like no this one no this one so this one so so put it all together into paper is it should be on your first priority okay so okay maybe this will work no so i think this will also work like okay how about that how about that okay so little bit of ceiling so camera is little bit down and all that no it will not work so how about that like okay it's an upshot so all the kids are here it's a ground okay so is it gonna work ask yourself okay like which angle is working with the same situation then you should get an answer like no this will work okay go for it don't waste your time to put such detail like that thumbnail is not for detail drawing and all that thumbnail is for thumbnail is like your first draft okay only you can see it once you are uh, satisfied with it then you should discuss uh, with your director with a pitch pitch means you need to uh, explain everything because it's a very less drawing so you need to explain him sir this is the uh, students this is the teacher so you know we can frame it like that then story like that 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 this that okay once your director is convinced or he also can put some ideas make a note like okay uh, my director says camera should be on left so left make it note okay then you should get back to your desk then you should work with the gestures like that like this in storyboard part okay show it to your director again his director is happy then you should put this uh, you know gesture to next level which is animated clean it if you want or add some add some more uh, poses okay so gradually you should move step by step okay and last but but not the least is don't worry about the softwares and tools always remember if you are a good storyboard artist nobody cares if you are make a entire storyboard by your drawings on paper the production needs visual they don't care about storyboard pro flash maya blender grease pencil or uh, sketchbook pro anything okay whatever suits you whatever you are comfortable in go for it okay there's no any barrier or nobody can tell you like uh, oh uh, you are you, know, you you have done this uh, so, uh, storyboard in flash only uh, if if uh, you are going to use storyboard uh, uh, storyboard pro or toon boom the effect will uh, definitely you know uh, comes very well than this obviously obviously because the tools are there there and the, all the tools are there in different software to enhance your storyboard but what if your idea is not that good but you are keep on you know putting some shade or putting some blur and all that 
waste of time so better you should get used to it one software it's okay once your storytelling part getting better you are confident about your gesture your uh, uh, you know storytelling kit sorry storytelling skills and your uh, ideas then you should move to that software part if you want because that is the time maybe you want to beautify them okay go for it okay but step by step do this first do that first matlab um means next okay you are good with it okay let me more detail okay now you are good with this cool now you may go for this light source from here maybe some brown shadow okay so try to make yourself comfortable with this first okay don't do it this after that okay this is okay now it's in your comfortable zone okay go for that comfortable go for this okay so do it step by step uh so now uh, i'm going to stop sharing my screen okay so okay we are here now hello anybody here okay so how was that uh it was very informative sir okay okay so anything you want to share with me like your style or the way you think or uh like what are the things you are learning right now and how it helps with my this uh, tips and webinar anything you want to share with me come on it's just a friendly chat <laughs> so tell me your thoughts uh so so is this the i mean what you just did is that how you uh, approach all the projects or is like uh, or uh, do like specific directors ask for a specific style of drawing or a certain detail level or something like that or do all storyboards look like what you just did no actually na it's depends because see now i am experienced okay so sometimes uh i uh, i figured all the thumbnails into my mind like okay this should be the storytelling and all that and uh, the director uh, i'm working for he is also known my style and my thinking so right now i easily can avoid those stages like uh, brief or uh, like making the thumbnails and all that i easily can go to him and uh, you know pitch my idea and the way i pitch he uh, he get that idea like okay the camera should be there or you are trying to tell me this character should do and that blah 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 so once we are we both are agreed with each other then uh, like the way i uh, have shown the uh, rough sketches and drawing this is my first draft okay so i sh uh, again uh, i need to uh, show him like sir so see this how it looks uh, on the board or the tv screen so if he approve that idea then i put a bit details on that no okay. but the, but the thing is obviously basic idea is same okay everyone should follow this this process because it's very uh, like it will save your time okay and uh, it will keep you very specific 
about your ideas and your storytelling part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, but also like um, right now, you just put a lot of details. Like the script was just uh, the original script only showed so many lines, and yeah. uh, you added a few shots in between. Mm -hmm. uh, but the thing is, won't uh, like in the production schedule, like you have certain time limit, right? So if you add more shots, it might take more time. So won't that be an issue? Very good question. Uh, what's your name? My name is Karthik, sir. Karthik. Very good question, Karthik. Uh, so the thing is, na, like I said before, you need to balance between uh, your own creativity and the deadline. Okay. If you are going to always follow your deadline, you never, you know, uh, going to reach your goals or uh, like uh, you never going to uh, become a good artist because you are killing your own thoughts because of the deadline. This is the part. Second okay. part is, matlab, uh, means uh, why I'm telling this balance things uh, because of this, because at the same time, you should uh, move with your creativity and the other hand, you should respect the deadline also, because if you are, you know, uh, you are keep on enjoying your creativity through your boards and production is telling you, boss, we don't have much time. You need to submit your board by tomorrow. but but uh, the way you uh, think you need uh, two days to you know fulfill your creativity so that time you need to chop up some of your creative thing like three uh, three are the uh, three main points that i have added in my storyboard right that uh, uh, punishment thing that uh, color thing and that uh, naughtiness at the last part so maybe uh, i need to sacrifice that uh, punishment thing then but these two things I will definitely keep. Okay. And the another trick is like once you are putting extra effort uh, in your board, make it in very rough way. Okay. Because you also need to uh, see the uh, timing of your board. Like you can't exit 11 minutes if it's 11 minutes episode. Okay. So make it very rough first. Maybe circle or stick figure. So if you see like uh, because of your extra creativity your boards uh, like exceed the uh, uh, given timeline then you should chop up and uh, like uh, it's also takes very uh, less minute for you because you are not putting any detail and all that these are just the circle and all that but if you see like yeah yes it's meeting my uh, uh, like uh, timeline like 11 minutes then of course it should keep it and uh, make it bit uh, clear and all that so you need to put balance between deadline and creativity. I'm not going to say you always respect deadline and kill your creativity. So how you will enhance your skill then? What is your contribution to this story? My contribution, uh, like I already have demonstrated, three points are my contribution. Okay. And director, maybe director will like it. Like, yeah, this is the fun part. But the first version that I have shown it's just script says that and I just, uh, you know, draw the same thing in, in a robotic way. So production is happy with me, but me, myself or my audience is not happy with myself because I need to kill my creativity to meet the deadline. So you need to, you know, uh, build a balance between that. Okay. Any other question, guys? But also, okay. sir, like uh, when you're doing it, like actually it's in animatics that you uh, get the timing, right? So uh, how do you get to know that while doing the script? I mean, while doing the storyboard is my doubt. Means your question is, uh, by the time I'm doing it, how come I know like uh, it will meet the 11 minutes or not? Yes, sir, that's what I'm uh, See, uh, like I said, uh, it's all about experience. Because okay. I am the experienced guy, so I know if I am putting or uh, inserting this much frame into this, mm -hmm. I need to chop some of the part of the script in somewhere, in some sequence. Okay. okay. So that's how I maintain the balance. Okay. Like in sequence one, uh, I am putting uh, like uh, uh, like uh, 20 uh, extra panels. So I need to find those parts in the entire script, like sequence one or sequence two or sequence three or sequence four, like, okay, this paragraph I will not do because that saves me 20 
uh, 20 or 40 panels. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is how I maintain the balance. Mm -hmm. And approx, uh, approx uh, for 11 minute story, you need to deliver 1000, uh, near about 1400 or 500, uh, no, 1400 panels. This is the standard. Okay. Uh, okay. Any other question? Sir, I have a question. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, please get this. We need to sketch each frame, sir. Mm, sorry, uh, actually, your voice is not coming properly. Uh, you also can uh, write your question uh, in uh, chat. So I can answer it. This yes, one? Yeah. So from... Uh, I understand more from you. you. Your way of teaching is very interesting and uh, attractive. The language is very simple, so I could understand very well. We. Uh, learn more from you so we can learn from you oh thank you thank you so much for your kind words uh, even i'm also glad that uh, you are learning from me that's my agenda actually uh, so uh, sir, one, have, yeah yeah sure I, yeah so uh, the, another thing is that like uh, when you are storyboarding uh like how do you decide the shots like um when it comes to the production stage of it um mm -hmm. it's ultimately say the director's call or the cinematographer's mm -hmm. or the dop's mm -hmm. call on mm -hmm. how to go about that so like uh, uh how do you, i mean while storyboarding it's important to also you right. know get the shot right so how do right. you go about that Actually, uh, every project has their own guidelines. Okay, do's and don'ts, okay. we call it. Okay, so what we can show actually and what we cannot. Okay, like uh, some of the shows that has its own guideline, like you cannot show uh, character face frontal or profile shot uh, or uh, proper back. So the only option is three fourth back and three fourth front. So I need to design my entire storyboard uh based on that okay. okay so if character is facing the three four obviously my bg or my uh, layouts they should designed in three fourth okay. okay some projects have their own uh like uh, uh what do i call like limitations like you cannot go beyond three layouts from the master shot so okay. i need to uh you know construct my story or my thumbnails like, okay, so this is my um, uh, main uh, key BG. So things will move there to there like this, there to there like this. So I should not uh, play with the camera in this part. So okay. these are the guidelines which help us to know the show requirement actually, and the budget also. Like I said, like uh, Bollywood makes certain superhero story for uh, like uh, 40 crore budget output okay. is different avengers they are making the same thing superhero but for like 100 million or something output is different so it's yeah. always depends on that okay what is your budget what is your guideline what is your deadline and what is the requirement of the show if the show requirement is very normal storytelling robotic storytelling do it because company is paying that much only for that but if company is asking like, no, you have to enhance your story, you know, 360 degree camera movement and all that, then they should pay according to that. And you should think according to that. Like, okay, what I can do with this character and what we cannot, okay? That's how you should decide. Don't worry, the, the TL or the supervisor or the director will always help you, you know? Because before you start your uh, script, there's a, uh, there's a session, okay? We call briefing story briefing so your director will call you and your guys whoever uh, gonna because see it's not necessary for you like you alone uh, uh, finish the entire script okay 
maybe uh, three or four artists they should team up and they will finish the entire script so coordination is very important in that part because you need to maintain the hookup the continuity and all that so director will call you uh, that uh, uh, team maybe five guys in that team and uh, make sure that five guys will work in same project with same flow same hookups and maintain the uh, same storytelling okay. that's how it works actually okay so it's you that makes the decision regarding the uh, short framing and all and it does not come with the script is it or does it come with that like apart from the guidelines of course uh, sorry can you please repeat your question yeah so i was saying that shot by shot it's mm -hmm. you who makes the decision regarding uh, the short framing and all and it does not come with the script i'm talking about it shot by shot mm -hmm. uh yeah so like um as you said there there are guidelines but say like if it's supposed to be a close up or a mid close up no 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 that what front see guidelines are there like you should not go beyond on that but this is not the barrier for you like i okay. said if the story needs really badly needs that you have to change the bg because of that you should change it okay. but guidelines are there like you cannot do every time that's why the guideline is that okay okay if required okay. do it but make sure you have the perfect reason behind it but if okay. you wants to do it and you do it then you are wrong because you are not maintaining the guidelines the things are working like that Mm -hmm. yeah. so next one it's it's always been distributed between your uh, colleagues sir i mean short wise and what cv is required for that um i really uh, get that question uh, raj so yes, sir ha huh. uh i was asking that uh, the shots right the story ah uh -huh. the story shots have been distributed between colleagues between Or, colleagues uh, mean artist okay yeah okay. yeah so yeah. The, uh, the basic artists the uh, the amateur level artists have been uh, distributed or the senior level artists work on no level. distribution should done basis on your skills okay it is not like that like you are junior you can't do action scene or you uh, don't have uh, two years experience you can't do dialogue or acting thing no it's not like that because before you join the student you should mm -hmm. you sh uh, they should provide a test okay they should provide you a script and that okay. script it's uh, you know covered everything like dialogue little bit of action little bit of uh, story establishment and all that so you need to do it first basis on that they will judge you like no his drawing is really good the way he framed the character and all that gestures and all that so maybe he, he is the right person for action scene or mm. uh, like no his drawing is not much impressive but the way he uh, act or uh, making uh, the character acts it's really uh, it, you know uh, it's really good so maybe the dialogue scene uh, we should provide it so it's basis on your skills your Uh, TL or your supervisor, they will decide that. Okay, but it's not like that. I, I'm fresher, so I only do the staging. I only draw the BG. It's not like that. If you are fresher, you are talented, and you are good with your work, then they can provide you anything, any challenge. Okay. And uh, what CV is required, sir? Like uh, for a storyboard artist? Means uh, you are asking me for portfolio? Yeah, portfolio. So we have to show multiple. Uh, Uh, it would be better it? if you if you put multiple uh, like uh, choices for us like one action scene one dialogue scene uh, uh, one uh, your idea like your character uh, and your story like short film like okay that would be good for us but try to put some variation okay, okay. and and also do not uh, copy like uh, like the characters which is already in the market like chota bhim little singam and all that try to make your own character just i'm saying even though it's look ugly and all that don't worry but your idea we, your we, idea ha huh, as an as an recruiter like uh, recruiter we are always looking for fresh ideas chota bhim is already there 
and you are doing yeah, a yeah. storyboard of chota bhi what's your creativity then right, right? the yeah. the sequence chota bhi mein is uh, you know uh, playing with his uh, uh, friends and uh, maybe the king is coming over there and he is asking help for chota bhi oh come on we are seeing this what's new over there okay mm. so this is our parameters your what you can yeah of course your you your of course of course i am not telling you develop don't develop it even though you are putting it in square version like spongebob or uh, uh, like triangle shaped character it's okay for us what we can we want to see is okay this is his personal work there's no any copy or uh, uh, copy work is involved in that and whatever he is doing that's his own idea so that guy's brain is fresh he can think he can generate he can create okay this is what we are looking for in story one because see uh, everyone in this class i'm telling you this very seriously don't take this job grantedly okay this is very serious job and very hectic job okay you don't even any uh, idea like how hectic it is but the thing is at the same time it's fun because all the department depends on you you have that magic key whatever i am go- gonna uh, i wish to show people have to show it okay have to see it sorry so this is a very big responsibility because people are paying money people are you know giving uh, giving you their time so justice with it okay whatever you make make sure people should laugh people should enjoy or if if it's a bit emotional people should cry that's what we are here we are entertainer okay companies paying for industries paying us to entertain people so be a good entertainer and do your job correctly okay so this is the thing so uh, next question anyone uh, sir is there any division like beginner intermediate and expert what is the pay scale for each sir um <laughs> it's a very tough question but the thing is na like uh, it's depends on your same creative part how professional you are uh, like uh, uh, like uh, it's um, it's also depends on your uh, output like are you able to meet your deadline or not okay uh, and it's also based on your uh, the uh, studio you are joining it's their budget because every project has their own budget it's like uh, i am doing a project and my clients paying me like uh, 100 100 rupees but my artist is asking like no i i need 80 uh, 80 rupees so i can't afford that artist even though he is fresher or he is a most talented guy over here okay so your salary is only not depends on your like uh how you draw things or quality of drawing or quality or work and all that it's also depends which studio is that what are the projects is going on over there okay and the thing is like um uh of course uh, uh, the level of your creativity the city you are live in okay if if you are willing to join mumbai then uh, as a fresher you will get high but the thing is uh even if you uh, willing to join in uh, hyderabad or kochi then it's bit less but it doesn't mean like they are they this company is paying you less because expenses is not that much okay if you are staying in mumbai you need to pay 18000 for one bhk okay but in 18000 you will get 3 bhk in hyderabad okay with proper location if you are uh, uh, going for food okay for thali with uh, normal curry and all that in mumbai that will cost you 200 rupees okay but in hyderabad you will get that in like 80 rupees or 100 rupees so it also depends which city you are living okay so your salary is based on that okay sir yeah any other question anything anything okay this is this is a friendly chat so don't be shy 
Ma'am, uh, sir, how to select uh, like companies? Companies? If, uh, like if you want to join, uh, like uh, if you want to pursue career in this field, like okay. how we want to select companies uh, depending on place or which place we are in, like that, sir. See, first of all, our journey is like that. You are just uh, you are just on startup uh, like point. So in that point, like somehow I'm not telling this is the truth or this is the basic thing. Somehow this is the point where company will choose you. OK. And after you uh, gaining your experience or you become an established artist, then it's time to, you know, like uh, then his ball is in your court. Like, OK, now. I am the one who will choose the com uh, company because see, uh, as a fresher uh, or as a less experienced uh, artist, you need to provide your um, uh, what do I call like a CV to every company. You cannot just rely on okay, uh, I want to go to Mumbai and I will join Maya. So Maya, here's my CV. Nobody cares. Okay. Maya maybe see this and no, this man is not, uh, you know, suitable for me. Even I, I just uh, telling you, it's not happening. Uh, every company is always, uh, you know, giving you reply and all that. But what if uh, they missed your uh, email and all that? So you can't just sit at home and, uh, uh, you know, uh, telling yourself, no, I don't need uh, any job to any other place because Maya will take care of that. So see, it doesn't work on that way. You need to uh, provide your CV in every company. Okay, Maya, Reliance, Toons, Crazy Animation, or uh, uh, like uh, Green Gold Animation, everywhere. Whoever or uh, like uh, whoever director is that like uh, from any company. Like if uh, I'm I'm from Green Gold, so I'm uh, seeing your CV. So I I need to judge as per my project. Like okay, uh, maybe um, Rahul. Okay, Rahul is applying uh, as a storyboard artist over here, but Rahul's skills is not match with my uh, project, so I don't need him. Then Reliance, okay, they see your portfolio. Yes, uh, we can use him in that project because his drawing style or his, uh, you know, the way he designed that character, it, it will match with our th that project or this project. So he will get a job from Reliance. Then five years, six years, you are an established artist. Okay, people are not willing to lose you. If you are putting resignation, your director will call you. Like, no, don't go. Okay, I will raise your salary and all that. So you know, okay, now I'm established and I can go anywhere. That is the time you should choose your company. Okay. So it works in that way. Yeah, yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so somebody asking me like uh, nice one students you can share your work okay uh, so please if you want to uh, show me your work please go ahead I, I would like to you know uh, see this your creativity if you have anything please share your screen with me and show me your stuff because maybe who knows in future uh, i'm getting a chance to work with you guys so it's also a good way to show your work or show your portfolio whatever take the chance whatever it is your your sketching your ideas your character design whatever it is even it's a bouncing ball Or uh, if you have any question in your mind, please ask me. I'm here for you. Okay, so if uh, uh, like you don't have any uh, anything to show me so, and uh, we still got some uh, time, so I will show my work to you, some of my other work. <clears throat> so
so uh, this is another one So oh, that was a little tribute to my WWE superstar Rock. So here's the another shot of Juju. so this one and uh, i want to go to the guy who, who has an understanding with you he will ha- he will do it and get i want to give him over so this one is from my sketchbook again different approach Project in geography only. Mm-hmm. So about rain or harvesting. Mangroves like who wants to make the model? So guys, uh, so this is short of my library, mm-hmm. and uh, as you can mm-hmm. see, uh, like playing with different different stuff uh, with different different approach. Okay, if you still uh, wanna see all of this stuff, you can go to my YouTube channel and see my work over here. Okay, so. 
hier. So I think we are comes to an end. Um, Hello, uh, Ankan. Yes. So, we are an amazing session. Uh, amazing in many ways, you know. I remember a couple of from, uh, uh, first of all, I would request like other people to use the microphone. Please mute the microphone, other people. Okay, so uh, I especially remember one particular character named Roger Rabbit. You know, uh, probably uh, many people who love to watch uh, old movies. Uh, in that particular movie, Roger Rabbit, you know, um, they have created one two D character and we have compiled it to the you know, live action film. But that was a very serious and uh, very uh, you know. Uh, difficult project done mm -hmm. by Hollywood, mm -hmm. but uh, the way you have uh, you know, brought these things together was really intuitive in very, very, very much uh, different way, okay. you know. Right. And particularly uh, when we saw this, you know, it's completely done on the uh, so flash. Cool. We can also realize how these uh, softwares are powerful enough in your hand, in the reach of your hand. Right. See, Flash is a very small software, very little software, very normal software. It is almost everywhere, you know, and almost everybody can work with the Flash. Right, it right, is so of course. See the potential, but when you uh, particularly say it like, you know, the content makes a matter, we realized it, really, software does not work so any uh, great job. You know, right. the great job really comes from the, you know, intuitive brains, you know. The brain right. does the biggest work, right? Right. So this was really uh, not only you know I was a silent uh, observer from, uh, sitting here, and okay. I was trying to learn as much as. Oh, so uh, this is what it is. Uh, and yes, uh, there are certain noises that we can. Yeah. Uh, I'd uh, request to all just okay, your uh, microphones. If this is the uh, the wearing uh, colors. Where is it coming from? I can't see somebody. Uh, okay, please. Uh, I think uh, Raj, uh, Raj, can you please put your mic in um, mute mode if it's possible? Hmm. Are we good to go now? I uh, hope so. Let us see what happens. Uh, anyways, uh, so there were some people who were saying like, you know, uh, if you can share, uh, share your uh, YouTube channel's link. Uh, so yeah, that sure. people can just uh, sure. go there and try to learn something. Yeah, you know, sure. I told you he has, uh, you know, he is a very uh, senior guy in this field. You know, as this uh, uh, animation, started to exist in India, you know, it was existing from very beginning uh, days, but uh, there was a rush, you know. Before just the rush came, these people, uh, I mean, uh, people like uh, uh, Abhishek uh, joined this uh, venture, you know, and really we are watching good, uh, you know, uh, good animations, good stories, be it in the form of Chota Beam, be it in something else, okay. And we wish to watch more from you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, sir, for attending such kind of session. And Thank the you. students, I'd like to uh, tell you, like, before we leave, uh, there is one uh, survey link there. Okay. Uh, see, there is surveymonkey.com on the surveymonkey.com that I have shared into the chat box. Go ahead, click that link, give your feedback, and let us know how uh, you know enjoy. How much you uh, enjoyed this seminar, uh, this webinar particularly? Uh, thanks once again, Abhishek. Thank you. Uh, Thank you so Eric, much. Such a nice uh, talk. Thank you very <laughs> much. Same here. Same here. But before I uh, uh, leave this meeting, I would like to um, say my student, like uh, see. Uh,
this is art field and we are all creative okay please don't feel anything low about your uh, art or about uh, your stocks and all that things takes time to you know get better because uh, it takes me 12 years you know 12 years to provide this such stuffs that you are liking or you are asking me to share my youtube channel so you can see my stuff and all that and you are just on your starting phase okay and every studio have their own environment every studio has positive negative people okay positive people they will help you to enhance your uh, skills negative people they were definitely pulling your leg down like no are uh, you know uh, what kind of drawing is that uh, see uh, the weak gesture and all that but please okay don't get demotivated you are artist always be motivated travel as much as you can uh, as uh, much you can okay uh, watch good movies and uh, uh, you know take breaks okay do whatever you want it will refresh your mind and that will helps you to generate more fresh ideas okay so please don't feel low at any time like i said things will takes time to grow okay you cannot say like okay i am practicing for two days three days next day i will become glen glen king it's 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 not working in that way okay everything takes time okay so that's why i'm telling you enjoy the process enjoy the field we are fortunate that as a human being uh, god gifted us such eyes or such thoughts that we are willing really, we are actually seeing world or seeing things different way okay generate ideas entertain people it's a big responsibility for us okay people are seeing your work they appreciate it they laugh at it they are putting comment like buddy your stuff is awesome my kids are like it that's your salary actually that's your satisfaction that because of that 10 families they are happy okay so please uh, understand that responsibility and enjoy the process enjoy the field okay wish you luck and thanks for having me i would like to thanks everyone okay go ahead please thank you very much sir thank, thank you. you thank you thank you thank you thank you so may i leave the meeting yes sir yes sir please okay okay thank you sir thank you sir thank you buddy thank you thank, thank you, you sir thank you thank bye you sir thank you thank you bye bye okay guys there is nothing uh, much to say just uh, fill up this uh, you know feedback form and depending on that you will get your attendance and all uh, so uh, don't miss it out thank you very much